On the NBC 10 News Health Watch at 6, are you fed up with your HMO or your doctor who makes you sit for hours in the waiting room before an appointment? If so, you can now have a personal physician on call to you 24-7, but it comes at a cost. NBC 10 News medical reporter Sherry Bank is here with the story. Sherry? Yeah, well, his story is this. He's a Balakinwit internist, okay? So he's already here in this area. He's one of a new breed of doctors always available to meet your needs, but who charges you a pretty big bundle just to be his patient. It's called boutique medicine, where doctors take a limited number of patients so they can give them quality time. It's happening in reaction to the managed care system that is driving many doctors and their patients crazy. Internist Bob Weiss no longer has a jam-packed waiting room and no longer agonizes over spending just a few minutes with each patient so we can see at least 40 patients a day just to make a living. He's left managed care behind. Now he has a boutique practice with a limited number of patients. He only sees five or six patients a day so he can spend as much time as they need. He'll meet them in the emergency room, visit them in the hospital, even make a house call. His his waiting room only has two chairs and no one ever waits. Can I call you at 10 o'clock at night if I'm sick? Absolutely. You'll give me your cell phone number? You have my cell phone, you have my beeper number. Patients pay a price for Dr. Weiss's availability, $2,000 a year to be exact, just to be his patient. Then they also have to pay for all tests and exams. Why would anyone do that? He's part of feeling better. He's worth whatever it costs. He's always been a great doctor, but the, the system was choking him. So I'm willing to contribute to his well-being, which will translate into my well-being. You know, Sherry, we all um, are getting to be the age, my friends and I, where if we don't have our health, we have nothing. When you think that for maybe a little bit less than $40 a week, you're insured that 24-7 you have a fabulous physician who's the most incredible diagnostician at your disposal, you just learn to afford it. I'm on my way out. Dr. Weiss believes he is the first physician in this area to practice boutique medicine, but there are a growing number of other doctors nationwide who are doing it too. They charge anywhere from $1,500 to $20,000 a year just to get into their practice. But critics say this is not health care, it's wealth care. I'm not blocking access to medical care to people. I may be blocking access to me, and people want me, but I have a right to do things the way I want to. This is a country where I have a right to have some happiness and joy out of my profession. If you have to pay two, three, four thousand dollars to get a doctor who calls you back, then none of us should be accepting this health care system. Dr. Art Kaplan is chief of medical ethics at the University of Pennsylvania. But the system is what's broken. It's not boutique medicine, that's a symptom. The disease is a broken health care system. And that's why people continue to sign up for Dr. Bob Weiss's boutique medical practice. And Dr. Weiss feels he's reclaimed his profession. So far, Dr. Weiss has 300 patients. He will limit his practice, he says, to 600. Many of the doctors who have these practices work for companies who set up the computerization of the bookkeeping, the medical records, and the billing because the doctors have enough to do just taking care of their patients. Renee and Larry. And you say this isn't just happening here. This is happening across the country. It's beginning to happen all across the country, a lot in Florida, but then mm -hmm. little places all around the country. My dad's doctor in St. Louis just started Isn't it. that something? It's very right. interesting. Very interesting. Thank, Thank you, Sherry. Coming up next on Action News, a Kenwood doctors open what's called a boutique practice. You get house calls, same day appointments. What's the catch here? We'll talk about it all when Action News comes right back. Well, it's the height of convenience. If you want to go to the doctor, it's one thing. How about if the doctor comes to you? Nobody does that anymore. No, no, no but I, just listen up because there are some changes that are going on. When it comes to cars, some people buy subcompacts and others go for ultra luxury. Almost no one questions that. But when it comes to health, should you be able to pay more and get a different level of care? A suburban internist says yes, and his patients agree. In retailing, mass marketing holds prices down. In healthcare, high volume is supposed to do the same. But hey, how are you? It's good to see you again. Dr. Robert Weiss has what some call a boutique practice. He has only a few hundred patients, and they see him on very short notice. In exchange, they pay an upfront fee of $2,000 a year. As, as un, 
as distasteful as it sounds, to protect themselves from the current environment, a group of patients who have the awareness of the problems within the system and how it works with very high volume are willing to pay to rent a physician and have that physician take care of them. If you stay at a premium hotel like Philadelphia's Four Seasons, you pay more but you get personal service from a concierge. A membership practice brings the same concept to healthcare, more time with the doctor and more attention. Weiss's practice is run by a corporation that frees him to give just that. In every other industry, if you want better service and if you want higher quality product, you can pay for it. And in healthcare, there hasn't been that option, and especially not in Philadelphia. Not every patient will spend the extra money to get the access and the one-on-one -on -one relationship with a veteran physician. Those who have it seem to like it, and so does the doctor, but he pays a price too. I'm in on the weekends, I go to nursing homes, I'm constantly on call. We're eating dinner out on a Saturday night, I get a phone call, I'm over in the emergency room, you know, visiting. I do visit the patients when they go to the ER. I admit them to the hospital. I'm providing something, you know, that I don't think is available. Boutique medicine is in its infancy here, and in Seattle, some computer executives pay up to $20,000 a year for almost instant access to a doctor. Mm, Tam is money for some people, uh, I, guess I guess. so. You get what you pay for. All, All right. right, another hour, half hour, that is, of Action News still ahead. Don't go away. They get 24-hour service. Uh, they have access to my beeper. They have access to my cell phone. Dr. Weiss is a trendsetter. He's an internist who's practicing boutique medicine. For a yearly fee of $2,000, patients get total access to him, day or night. I would pay double. How many times have you called a doctor and they said two weeks from Tuesday? He can actually be a preventative doctor with me now because he's not just flying through the room saying, okay, let's take care of this problem. Now he's saying, this is the problem, and we better watch out for this, this, and this. Will you need to come in? What time would you like to come in? Dr. Weiss says the appeal for patients is the time and attention he can give to them. It's very comforting that when I come into an emergency room and someone's in there and they see me, it just takes all of their anxiety away. The service includes hour-long office visits and some house calls. And it's not just for the rich. I have manicurists that are doing it. I have a lot of retired school teachers who didn't make a lot of money doing it. Dr. Weiss says he's busier than ever, but delivering the kind of health care that's beneficial to both him and his patients. I once again love what I'm doing. And that's good medicine for everyone. This is Ann Alexander reporting.